I, for once, decided not to have any I slides, hope you didn't not mind. to have any problems like everybody else was having. Um, I'm a man, I, I'm a bit modern, I'm a bit ancient at the same time. I think that what matters when I give a presentation is what I say, it's not what, the, what it's behind me in a screen. So I want to co try to concentrate on you and I having this, this dialogue or this monologue. Um, I, I'm here to talk about working collaboratively in entrepreneurial ecosystems. Um, and uh, I think that, uh, I hope that my message goes through, it's gonna be very simple and very easy to grasp. When we talk about collaboration and we talk about entrepreneurship, what we're talking about is doing. We're talking about making things happen. When we talk, we just talk. We're having a conversation, or in this case, a monologue. I just throw my words at you and you cannot reply until the break. And um, it doesn't do anything good. It doesn't bring us to making things happen. It's important, it's interesting to do it, but it doesn't change the world. Imagine for a moment that this room was completely dark. There was no source of light at all. Some people will start talking. Some will discuss, you know, the nature, what caused the darkness. Some people will be complaining about it being very dark. Some people will be saying that uh, this is part of a capitalistic um, complot uh, to turn all this area black. But at the end, what will happen is that at least one or two people will bring out their phones and we'll turn, the, we'll turn them on and we'll bring a bit of light into the room. And that's what I think that matters, is that people that do are the ones that change the world, that, that improve things. Um, EVS is not worth, it, not worth anything. It's execution, it's making this thing happen that is gonna change the world. Everything we're discussing here for this weekend or this, these three days, it's very interesting that's full of a lot of interesting exchanges, a lot of interesting ideas, but if we don't do anything about them, they're worth nothing. So what I encourage you to do is to do something about the things that you care for and do something about the things that you think that are interesting, that are gonna change your reality. Collaboration is all about people, but pe people not as, as numbers, people as persons. It's all about the connections you make with those persons. It's about the network that we build, the different networks that you build with those persons. And it's about the, the ecosystem that you end up building and changing. And without meeting these people in forward and paying it forward, you, if you don't meet these, persons in per, in, in per, these people in person, <laughs> sorry, and one of you at least doesn't pay it forward, doesn't give before they get, nothing will ever happen. So it's important to keep this in mind always. When you're working about creating any kind of collaborative environment of work, you have to give in order to create the right environment to get. What matters about networks is not the networks as a tool online. It has to, the networks as the connections we make. Having online tools is great, it will help us connect with a lot of people and keep in contact with a lot of people, but nothing beats meeting in person. Think about your, your we share experience so far. You've known a lot of these, the people that are here online. You've heard about some of these people. You've read about these people, but now you've met them. And you've met other people like you. And that has completely changed what you've experienced, the speed of development of your, of your own thinking process. You have to meet people in person. You have to network. And you network, why? Because you want to know each other. You want to know what the other people are doing because it's interesting. And you want to tell what you do because you're interesting too. You're learn doing it to learn. You're doing it to share based on, com on common interests. And you also share with your competitors. You have common interests in this new economy where you have to share with competitors. But it also happened in the old economy. That's what lobbies were created for. Um, you have to help each other out. And to make this network happen, the most important thing that you can have, or the, the tool that brings more people together more often, are events. Why are we here today? Because the WeShare people organized the WeShare Fest, and they gave us the opportunity the orga the, to see a lot of interesting speaker, speakers and to meet a lot of interesting people. Without them doing the effort, we would not have been here. 
Um, it's important that events is not only a passive. Uh, it's not. It's not something that is just passive. You just don't, don't come here and sit on a chair. You come here. You talk with other people. Some of us or some of the people here are volunteering. They've worked very hard to organize this before the event and are working hard today and the other days during the event, and they're gonna work hard to clean everything up later and wrap up the event. And without the work of these volunteers, without them doing things, this would not have happened. Um, it's important that when you're talking about events, you organize them, you help them, you promote them. You can help with the promotion. We have a hashtag that is uh, OSFest15 that you talk about it and you share, the, and you talk with other people, just with people that you meet. It doesn't have to be all in social media. It's important that you help to spread the word. And, it's, uh, and that you do anything you can, that you can to support the people that are doing things you care for. It's important also when you're working collaboratively, you know, it's to do projects together. One of the projects can be organizing an event. It doesn't matter what size that event is. It can be a dinner for three, you know, but it can be something as big as this, but that you do things together. Uh, some places to learn a lot about working fast and in a very intense environment are hackathons. But it doesn't matter. Whatever it is that you want to do, make it happen. And that which will bring you to collaborate with others and to work. But all this talk about, um, Working collaboratively, I think that it needs an angle to understand it. Is we need to measure the impact of all this collaboration. And I'm going to talk about it uh, from the point of view of co-working, which is where I know most of the things now. Um, last week at the Global Co-working and Conference Conference in Berkeley, Steve King presented the results of a global survey about the impact of co-working on the life of the professionals and entrepreneurs that are participating in, the, in, in those spaces. 84% of them are more engaged and motivated. They do more. 67% have improved their professional success. They do better. 82% expanded professional networks. There's more people to do things with. And 60% said that it was an important source of work. So they do more and they get more revenue. I don't know if you're getting you know, the, 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 the superstitious message that I'm sending between the lines. And revenue is something very important. As entrepreneurs, as freelancers, and as, and as any kind of worker that we are, we deserve revenue. We deserve to get money for our work. And it's not easy. And you know that the life of an independent worker, it's full of uncertainty and um, of freedom too. I like it that instead of, when I talk about open source now, I prefer to say free as in freelancer, instead of free as in free uh, freedom. And um, one of the things that I've, uh, so something that has helped me to understand it is a post that was written by one of my coworkers, Cedric Donkels, who is a developer, wrote a post where he measured the return of investment of being a coworker. What he says is that his return on investment was 2,500%. That means 25 times. So for every euro he spent, he got 25 back. For every 1,000 euros he spent, he got 25,000 euros back. That gives you an idea that is tangible about the, the, the incredible importance of this kind of collaborative uh, dynamics. Thanks to that and to the discussions with other co-workers, we decided to do an internal survey to try to measure the economy of our co-working space. Try to measure what are the the, how much are these people exchanging. We don't have uh, something that is uh, scientific yet. I only have five answers. But I thought that I would share with you these first five answers to give you an idea. And it's quite impactful. Uh, so this is just five persons, OK? The total economy measured was 124K within a year or less. The direct revenue from other coworkers, that it, so that is, I get more, you are my coworker and you give me money for my work, it's 14,000 euros. The indirect revenue, 
you and I talk and you get me in touch with somebody that gives me work, it's 70,000 euros. The direct expense I give you to do work for me, it's 21,000 euros. And then we also ask them to try to measure how much they think it's worth the help they get from other co-workers. You know, the people coming and helping you setting up your computer, solving a problem, helping you with your business issues. How much do you value that? So these five people said that they valued the help in 19,000 euros, almost 2,000 euros per person in help, the measure of the value of that help. I think this is very important because it gives you something that is very tangible about the importance and the real impact that collaboration has on your success, on your financial stability, and the kind of things that you can do in the future. So if, if there's one thing single that I want you to leave from, with from my talk is that to work collaboratively, there's only one word to remember, and it's very easy, it's got two letters, do. It'll be better for you and for all of us. Thank you. Muchas gracias.